Alexis Belgum. I am a freshman at Lincoln North Star. And this is a letter to the state of Nebraska. We are tall, short, tan, brown, and white. We are round in the stomach to just a pouch of fat. We are consumed by petty child games of duck, duck, goose. You're it. We are smiles that crunch our eyes to half moons, hair that tangles in the breeze or bounds with the curls. We are what you would call different. A difference that combines us, intertwines us like holding hands, completes us as a family. But you, my friend, my enemy, you, the very destruction of my being, you wear down my nerves so they are holding on my thread. You are the state. The better living workers, the caseworker, the judge. You dissected my family, threw us kids in the trash, and left us to rot. Two years ago, I lived my, with my mother, brother, and sisters in a not-so-glorious home. In that crumbling trailer, I held my baby brother's hand as he wobbled around the living room, whether he was taking his first step or his 287th. In that crumbling trailer, I learned the ABCs with my little sisters as we watched Elmo sing. In that home, I had 50, 13 pets. A dog, a mouse, six itty-bitty fish, and five cats. Just the start of my crazy cat lady path. <laughs> In that home, I had a slightly insane, loving family. A year and a half ago, you, my friend, my enemy, took me away from the people I loved. We have been doing the best we could, even when negativity lasted us with its rusty chains, dragging us down to your open jaws. My family became unstable chemicals, carelessly tossed into an experiment with unpredictable outcomes. Why will you not put us back to where we belong? You're the grown-ups, you should know better. Ignore me, I'm just a young, clueless, let us not forget, hormonal teenager, and I don't know how to be a big girl, so let me just sit in these soiled diapers that you forgot to change. Stop caring about what the caseworker is saying for a few minutes and listen. Don't you hear my little sisters crying that they want to live with mommy? Can't you hear the high-pitched screams filled with confusion? Is it possible for you to comprehend that my mother is good at being a mother? From day one, we have wanted to go home, and still, on day 489, we have been disturbed from sleep with salted cheeks and a sense of loss. The days are separated from each other by two pathetic yet glorious hours we get to be reunited with our mother. A regular week for us used to be 168 hours and is now only 12. The other 156 are left for waiting. Wait, 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 wait! Be patient, just wait. Well, we are tired of waiting. Tired of being pushed into a crowd of strangers we're forced to get used to. Tired of waiting and permanently reunited with our mother. Tired of waiting but willing to wait. Wait to go home. We want to go home.